Hello all. Today we are going to discuss about a topic called signed multiplication. Signed means negative number, which means both negative number or positive number by using Booth algorithm. To perform the signed multiplication by using Booth algorithm, we need to know four steps. First, I will explain the algorithm. For first step, we need four registers. One is used to store multiplicand, another one used to store multiplier, another one is used to perform addition operation, and this one is used to store the carry if we perform the addition operation. Then count is a variable which is used to check how many iterations this process will happen. First, I will explain the four bit. M Q A C. These are called registers. Out of four register, M Q A or N bit register. First, I will explain what is N bit register. See here, to represent seven, we need three bits or N F to represent seven, because one 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 is the binary representation of seven. But I am appending one more zero. This is used to indicate the number is positive number. And I hope you know that what is the value of minus seven. Minus seven is one zero zero one. You should know how the positive number should be converted into a negative number by converting all zeros into ones and ones into zero and adding one to the LSB. Then we have converted the positive number into a negative number. So come to this topic. We need three bits to represent a number, but since it is a signed multiplication, we need one more bit. So totally, we need four bit registers. So M, Q, A are four bit registers. C is a single bit register. In my previous lecture, multiplication of positive numbers, I will explain. why it is a single bit register the second step the second step is we have q not and c i hope what is q you know what is q not q is a multiplier here the multiplier is 3 to represent 3 in a binary notation as 1 1 but which is equalized to the 4 bit so i appending two zeros since it is a positive number we are appending zeros am then q not and c you know this is q q not is lsb of q so q not is one in this example here but the steps are if q not and c both are zero or if q not and c both are one we just perform arithmetic shift right later i will explain what is arithmetic shift right and then reduce the count value else Q not equal to one and C equal to zero. We have to perform A tends to A minus M. That can be rewritten as A plus of minus M. This will be very easy. And then again, I have to perform arithmetic shift right and reduce the count value. Else, if Q not is zero and C is one, we have to perform A tends to A plus M. And result is stored in A, and then arithmetic shift reduces and reduces the count value. The second step is repeated until the count value becomes zero. Once the count value reaches zero, we have to stop the process and check the result. The results are stored in A and Q register. Now we come to the example. The example is minus seven into three, which is equal to minus twenty one. Assume the multiplicand m equal to minus seven. I hope you know the binary representation of minus seven, which means m equal to one zero zero one. And what about minus m? If m equal to minus seven, then minus m equal to minus of minus seven, which becomes seven. So it becomes zero one one one. You know that this is used to indicate the signed of the number. So m is minus seven minus m is plus seven. So first a a should be loaded with all zeros, and q is a multiplier. Here multiplier is three. 
that's why 0 0 1 1 and carry is loaded with 0 check the q naught and see if q naught equal to 1 and carry equal to 0 we have to go to the second 2.2 a tends to a a minus m or else a plus of minus m you know what is a a is 0 0 0 0 and then minus m is 0 1 1 1 so 0 1 1 1 if we perform because a plus of minus m so the output is 0 1 1 1 the result is stored in a so the result is stored in a okay and then arithmetic shift right arithmetic shift right means we have to replace this symbol it will be moved to here as well as the same symbol is coming here just look at the arrow 0 is copied here and this 0 is shifted here and this one is shifted here this one is shifted here this one comes here this 0 comes here this 0 comes here this 1 comes here and this 1 comes here this 0 is left out that is arithmetic shift right and then once I perform these two steps we reduce the count value so initially my count value is 4 because count is a variable which is equal to n bits here n is 4 so 4 is reduced to 3 and again we have to check q0 and c here both are 1 you know 2.1 if both are 1 we just perform arithmetic shift so 0 is copied here and 0 is shifted here and this 0 is shifted here this 1 is shifted here this 1 is shifted this 1 is shifted 0 and 0 this 1 is shifted and this 1 is left out once I perform this process I have to reduce the count value now the count value becomes 2 initially it was 4 first iteration 3 second iteration 2 again check q0 and c here q0 is 0 and c is 1 that is equal to 2.3 q0 is 0 and c is 1 so a tends to a plus m now the a register we have a value of 0 0 0 1 and you know what is m m equal to minus 7 minus 7 means 1 0 0 1 so 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 add these two things 1 plus 1 10 0 1 and 1 is here 0 and then 1 so this result is stored again in a so see here my a is changed as 1 0 1 0 the q is as it is and 1 once I perform this operation after that I have to perform arithmetic shift reduce so 1 is shifted here and 1 is moved this digit and 0 is moved here 1 is moved here and this 0 is moved here and 1 and 1 and 0 and 0 this 1 is left out again reduce the count value so the count value is 2 now it becomes reduced to 1 again we have to repeat the second process check the q0 value as well as c if both are 0 again we have to perform just arithmetic shift right so one is copied here and one is moved here this one is moved here and this one is moved here this zero is moved here this one shifted here and this zero is shifted one and zero sorry one is shifted here this zero is shifted here this zero is left out now the count value becomes zero once the count value becomes zero we have to stop the process and see the result the result is a and q this is a and q first let me confirm whether the output is correct or not you know what is 21 21 the binary representation of 21 is 10101 and you should know one more thing if n bit is the input the output should be 2 int n that is the booth algorithm very important it may it be asked in a mcq questions or any other part if n bit is the input the output is 2 into n here n is 4 so the output should be 2 into 4 which is equal to 8 bit so i want to make this as 8 bit 
so i am appending three zeros so this is for 21 but i hope you know that the output is minus 21 so convert all zeros into ones and ones into zero that step we have performed here and add one to the lsb so this is the output of minus 21 so this should be stored in a and q see here a is 1110 this is correct and q is 1011 so this is also correct so you have to remember the algorithm as well as one important thing if a number is represented in a n bit the output should be represented in the form of 2 into n thank you all